The Milwaukee County Zoo has really become a jewel of the community. We do average about 1.3 million visitors to the zoo each year. We have 2,200 animals representing 330 different species. And in the past 30 years or so, we've started to focus more on animal welfare. And animal welfare means taking a look at their psychological, social well-being, what they need to be enriched and healthy and active. So not only do they have larger exhibits, but a lot of the exhibits have different components in them. The zoo is a unique place with thousands of animals that require so many life support systems, be it heating, cooling, uh, water temperature, things of that nature where a lengthy amount of time being without power is going to be detrimental to their survivability. Our biggest one is the Aquarium and Reptile Building. Uh, every animal in that building is uh, incredibly sensitive to uh, temperature, uh, atmosphere, you know, um, things of that nature. So that was, that was the number one building that we were looking to back up. We do have some generators on site that back up individual buildings, but it gets to be costly with the amount of buildings that we have on grounds. So we started looking into the options of backing up the entire grounds. The challenges on the project were obviously economics. It's a public zoo, funds are tight. So um, with the compact footprint of the uh, Gemini systems, we were able to reduce the concrete pad, the layout, condense the site uh, to avoid cutting down extra trees, visibility to the zoo. The other interesting thing was it was tied into the 5KV um, distribution center, which is our network ring around the zoo, so they could load shed and protect all of the animals and exhibits in the zoo. And most of the generators are 480 and below, but a 4160 volt generator is super expensive, hard to work on, a lot of space because the alternator is larger, so it doesn't fit in your normal package. Things are always changing and, and growing. We wanted to uh, make sure that we had the space. So we just planned ahead just in case things do grow. A parallel configuration allows us the flexibility to use only one of the generators if need be, or in the event that we have to service one of those generators and at the same time we still have a power failure, that generator will still be able to back up the zoo and you know, we still have backup power when we need to. With the age of the zoo, the distribution and the network um, caused some issues with the low voltage. So we worked with the engineer and the contractor to provide a subfeed because the network is at 5 kV. We had to provide a network to pick up the aux power for block heater, battery chargers, and accessories to allow it to be a standby generator. The process was smooth after working with the engineer, local engineer um, that we have a good relationship with. And we were able to tweak the configuration, eliminate two transfer switches down to one, provide the network connection uh, for reliability. To have that redundant generator backup is big. It, it's paramount, like I said, to keep our animal collection, it's, it's everything. Everything from the beginning of the process was very pleasant. The staff was incredible, very helpful along the way with both our contractors and with us. From start to finish, it was just, it was a good process. It was a good, a good team. It's the people at Generac, it's the people at Walter Power that make the difference to our customers from service, sales, responsiveness. So it comes down to the people serving people.